Hello everyone. Hello. Welcome to me stream. It's a good old F1 Everything runs okay. Welcome to the circuit de Barcelona Catalonia for the Spanish Grand Prix. Over the next few minutes, the teams will be heading out onto this classic Formula One track for what we're expecting to be a very hectic practice session. Catalonia saw its first race back in 1991, and the drivers are really familiar with this circuit as it's also been used extensively as a testing track over the years as well. Well, it's a fast flowing circuit that really pushes drivers and cars to their limits. There are two DRS activation zones, but the best overtaking opportunity for the drivers is in the second DRS zone along the main straight. They may be great friends off the track, but as we well know from history, friendships are hard to sustain whilst you're battling it out for supremacy within a team. How's the relationship between Seb and Kimi surviving under these pressures? I think Kimi enjoys working with Seb. They certainly feel comfortable around each other, but don't let that laid-back exterior fool you. Kimi is still the Iceman, and he'll want to assert himself against the four-time world champion and prove that he can come out on top. Right, let's look at this setup. I don't really need to change it around, I don't think. Yep, let's go for one now. Yeah, I know. Let's keep it up. Well, right, let's be the first one to get onto the track. Thank you. 
have to make sure everything's going okay. With that, you're now currently the fastest in this session so far. Dropping f my bit rate's fine. My dropping f gee, 310 f frames dropped. Oh god. Something I can do. See, I'm just. I think I'm just gonna have to turn the resolution down a bit. If it wants me to. Apparently, it doesn't. What is it? Oh, I'll have to do this another time. Let's just see how the stream runs today. And oh, Jesus. <laughs>
to using a load pit in within two laps. Oh god, that's the worst. Stop. Seriously, why don't you change my, my f FPS or anything? I'm stuck at 30. And I've dropped 430 frames. I can't change my resolution. Oh, 
that's what practice is for. We want to be quick, but we also want to be comfortable oh. and consistent. That's I'm what that means. And it's Lewis Hamilton who was able to achieve the fastest time on the track today. Ah, well, when I get on stuff later and discuss it with Mando and Bisbee, maybe I could get it better so I'm not stuck on something. It's two o'clock in the afternoon here in Catalonia for today's qualifying session for the Spanish Grand Prix. Spain is one of those tracks that can create unexpected results, so it's very difficult to know who might be strong here in today's qualifying. If you can put together an efficient package with a good compromise between downforce and straight line speed, you can catch the other teams out here, just like Pastor Maldonado did back in 2012. Ferrari have a good track record at this circuit, but my money is on Mercedes to have a strong qualifying session today. Yep, we're going with the option tyre. So it's the best one. Let's go to track. who takes the honours today with an absolute stunning pole lap. He was just untouchable, and the other drivers will be wondering what they have to do tomorrow to beat the Brazilian driver. Well, they've shown the car has great pace today, but they'll need to demonstrate what it can do over the race duration if they are to secure the victory tomorrow. Wow. I've got to marry you down the worst. I think I was a whole 11 seconds better than you. Let's get to the last. Another button, really. That's it. 
Yeah, I'm a good luck on that, my goodness. Maybe even near enough to a minute behind. It's a good thing I've realised I come on to f 2715. I didn't actually have to change my tire, I just realised that. I nearly could have messed up there. Welcome to the Circuit de Barcelona Catalunya here in Spain for what is expected to be a very closely contested race. Well, Felipe Massa didn't hang about yesterday and he'll be completely focused on maximising the advantage of starting from the front today. A win for Williams? Anything can happen on race day. A poor start, a mechanical issue, the weather being unpredictable or just the fact another driver has a better performance. So whilst he's definitely hoping for the race win, he knows his name isn't written on the trophy just yet. It was a disappointing day for Fernando Alonso yesterday. He's starting further down the grid than he would have liked, but he'll still be hoping for a strong result today. Well, Fernando is a great starter, and he'll be looking to make there up a go. few places on that first lap to try and get himself back into a position that That's he's better. more familiar with. Oh well, I might get some more people in now that I can actually see, okay. So our race stretch it is. Stop between laps seven and eight. Oh, okay. Ah, there's more laps in it. There's 17 laps in it. Yeah, we want to stop between laps seven and eight, obviously. Mm, fair enough. Right, let's start the race.
tires for a while. The wear doesn't seem too bad at the moment. Just take care when you load them up. Thank you for letting me know how to. Okay, at this rate we'll finish with a little extra fuel, so you have some in hand to run a faster engine mode for a bit. Yes, oh God!
Now I'm getting very bad at this because it tells a few people. I need to really ease up on the tires. So I think this is where things are going to get bad. I'm still so well. Yeah, I've done terribly that lap, I think. Because I'm trying to pay attention to some of the
very good. I would like to have during this game is that you can actually hear like commentary and stuff like you're getting FIFA games in the NHL games. I just think I'm going to have to have Ross Jones I bet that's an option to turn it on as well. But it's not going to be an option. Oh, I know it's, it's a merry. I can't have something on a really bad. I 
strings not running. Okay, it's still running. Damn. Oh, for a second, so The gap is 17 seconds, though, Jesus. Come on, Roy, can I get ahead of Hamilton? And then someone else is well. Right. So this is quite a bend here, my good truck, it's really got to keep your focus. That's a good one, yes sir. I don't want to do that. Very bad. And we are back. There's about 25% of fuel remaining in the car from our initial fuel load. That 
That's okay. Whatever. So I think you can catch up to me. There's an 18 second gap. It's a little too long now for him to, to catch me. Look at me. Look at the gap. It's a win for Felipe Massa after another sublime performance by the Brazilian driver brought home the Williams in first place. They have been working really hard, and today they got their reward. Superb work from both the team and its driver. After all this drama, you'd be mad not to join us for the next race. We hope to see you then. Take care. Oh wow, Nico Rosberg had to have two stops. Collision. Oh wow, and Sergio Perez got a five second warning for a collision. Yet so far my gap is only of that of six seconds now between me and Hamilton. I'm in second place. Oh, I didn't check the Constructors Championship. Oh, yeah. But yeah, that's how everything's looking. I'm just gonna pause and unpause. I'm gonna let the actual wear us could see the stream ending. Ah, awesome, it's up to date. But with that being said, people, I'm actually officially going to come with an end to the stream. And I shall see you all on the next one including you, the people of the YouTubes. And that is my final goodbye.